But that's all for later. First, time to meet the teams. And today we have two married couples going head to head. In red, we have Diane and Jeff from Bradford. And in blue, Bernie and Duncan from Altrincham. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Bargain Hunt. Reds, let's start with you. Jeff, you've got to get this question right. How long have you been married and where did you meet? We've been married 44 years come February 16th this year. And we met at the uh, a Valentine's Day dance that the company that we both worked for as teenagers set up way back in 1972. Oh, it sounds <laughs> awfully romantic. So Valentine's Day for you is a very yeah. special day of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Now tell me about your hobbies, Diane. What do you get up to in your spare time? Oh, I love cleaning. Okay. I like to find out how to clean without chemicals. Okay. And I do bicarbonate and lavender for my carpets. Oh, it smells beautiful and it deodorises. I get so excited about cleaning products. He says to me, what do you want for Christmas? I'll have an Uber. <laughs> I love the idea of it. Now tell me, antique shopping, you know how to clean them, but do you know how to buy them? Do you know what you're looking for today? Well, I collect um, Swarovski and I love brooches. Oh, as I love can see. brooches. And I've got a mannequin at home. She's got 1960s dress on, full of brooches from top to bottom. Oh, she sounds gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's OK, so we know what's on the shopping list. And remember, don't go around polishing the antique stalls, no. OK? The dealers might take offence, and you want to stay on the dealer's good side. Remember that. Yeah. Now, let's turn to the competition, the blues, Bernie and Duncan. These guys have been married for 44 years. What about yourselves? Only 30. Oh, a mere 30. <laughs> Get out of here. That's, no. that's quite a long time. <laughs> of course it is. So tell me, how did you meet? So we met at university in Bath. And what were you studying, Bernie? Maths. Mathematics. And I believe it stayed with you ever since. Oh, well, I've taught maths for several years uh, in Shrewsbury and in South Manchester. And uh, I gave up teaching in a school about seven, eight years ago. And I do private tuitions now. Do that first. Let's do it. Our teams are off and the Reds are on a mission. It's not a cat, but it is furry, and Diane's clocked it. Oh, I like him. The bear. The bear. What do you like about him? His eyes and his face is just absolutely cute. Right then, guys, let's have a proper look at this one. Oh, he's got, oh, the, key. Oh, he's got the key. Key in the back. What, how old is that? Mid-century for me, 1950s, maybe 1960s, when tin plate, which is what it will be, was very, very popular. It's probably going to be continental. It wouldn't surprise me if it's German, maybe West German, right. possibly Japanese. Do you think that's yeah, original food? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, the condition's good. Yeah. I'm going to give it a little wind-up. There, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? I love it. You're sold, aren't you? That's yeah. right. Jeff, what do you think? I think it's nice. It's got some age to it. It's the novelty. So what have they got there? 54. 54 pounds. What would we be liking to pay? A £40 mark, yeah. if possible. Shall we see what they can do then? See yeah. if we can shave it off just to yeah. make it even better for you? Yeah. yeah. OK. Jeff, why don't you go and get Claire, the manager, and see okay. what they can do? Right, we'll do. Great. Those reds aren't messing about. Can the same be said of the blues? Hmm. Claire's coming. I don't think you should talk, right. because you'll just pay anything. I can already tell. Okay. You're in love with it. Leave it to me. I'm going to play it really cool. Hello. Hey, Claire. Hi. How are you doing? I wouldn't say we love, but we quite like this clockwork bear here. Yes. We've got 54 on the uh -huh. ticket. Is there anything else you can do for us on that? I would say maybe 34 on that one. 34. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a fair discount, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 34 points. Mm -hmm. Fair discount. Yeah. It's definitely a yes from you. It is, definitely. Are we going to do it? Yep. Yeah. Should we put good. it there? We shall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And we won down after one about back. five minutes. Great spot. The first thing you see, yeah, I like that. Put it there. Put it there. You're happy. There you go. Give him a nice cuddle. Oh. Before you that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you're a little beauty. I'll bet Tim's thinking the same. Now, the Blues wanted silver. Well, they're not short of choice. At least the red team are in unison, and they're all buzzing about another piece of brass. I like these. Fly. The fly. Oh. What do you think of that? Ashtray. It's described as Vesta. It's described oh, as a Vesta. Right. A Vesta case is a small box that was traditionally used to keep matches dry. But you're right, right. it's an ashtray. This oh. probably does go back to the 1960s. Right. So, let's grab our fly. Have a closer look. No maker's look mark. This. Well, look, this is marked England. Oh, right, yeah. Now, they're Italian. That's where they were produced. Right. It turns me off a little bit that this is an English version. I love the details. I and I think £20 isn't a bad starting price. I like it. Yeah? Mm? Should we see what we can do? And at least yeah. we've got a price. Yeah. Because we're about yeah. 25 minutes down yeah. time-wise. So it's worth getting some prices so we know where we are. 
No flying by the seat of their pants for the Reds, but maybe the Blues need a rockin'. Be careful, Blues. Meanwhile, the Reds are on the home stretch. Claire, I know you've already marked this down from 24 to 20. Yeah. So maybe the vendor's getting desperate and can do us <laughs> even more of a deal. Probably a couple of pounds off that one. 17. 17. Yeah. Yes. Every penny else. Every, yeah. yeah. OK. Yep, that'd be lovely. No problem. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you ever so much. Right. You're doing the deal? Yeah. You're happy? Yeah, yeah. He's done it. Put it yeah. there, then. Yeah, I'm yeah. just yeah. following. <laughs> Fine. And that's us with two items down. There's still one to go. Yeah. Let's fly. OK. Right. <laughs> well done, Reds. You're motoring. It's a different story with the least over with the Red team. It's an oasis of calm. How do you think did I got them uh, 20 pounds. 70. I mean, OK. I okay. think that's as far as you go. OK, well, we've still got plenty of time. I like them, but I'd just like to see what else is out there before we make a final decision. Yep, yeah. I'm with Jeff. Right, let's pop them back for now and we'll have another look. Reds, you can afford to do that, but the Blues don't have the luxury. Will the Reds have any better luck with silver? Tim, what do you think about this pepper shaker? Oh, yeah, that's nice, with the blue glass. Yeah, blue glass. Shall we take it out and have a look? Yeah, have a closer look. And I can see a hallmark just at the base. Let's have a closer look. We can see we've got British sterling silver lion there. And we can just about see the anchor, which tells mm -hmm. us it's Birmingham. And right. to me, it looks Edwardian, early 1900s piece. You've got the nice bit of blue glass there. I love the decorative uh, flowers around there. I think that's you really special, isn't it? Sterling silver. Mm -hmm. This is good British sterling silver. And we can see we've got £38 on the price tag here. Okay. In an auction house, if that came in to me, I'd be wanting to guide it somewhere between £20 and £30 yeah. as a guide. So I think we would be needing to get it towards the 30 to give us a good chance. OK. Do you want to go see what you can do for us? Yeah. yeah. OK. The blue team now need to focus, as they've still got all thou. How's the negotiating going for the Reds for that paper pot? Um, you look happy. It was marked at 38, and I said I wanted it under 30, and I managed to do it. What happened? 29. <laughs> oh. It's under 30. But it's under 30, it so we stand a chance with Every that, penny I think, counts. and I like that. What do yeah. you think? What do you think? I do, I like it. Right, we're happy, we're buying yeah, it. We are. Come on now. Let's Great. do it. happy. Let's well go. done. And we're three down. Great shot, guys. Well done, Reds. You're no, no, no. Let's remind ourselves what the Red team bought. In the first 10 minutes, they bought the bear and got over a third of the price, paying just £34. The Reds were on fire, and with more than 30 minutes to go, they'd bought their second item, a fly ashtray, for £17. And after some window shopping, they settled on the paper pot for £29. Well, Diane, Jeff, Tim, I would say that was truly a team effort. It did, it was brilliant. We really enjoyed it. So tell me, which is your favourite item, as if I don't already know? It's the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the bear, your beloved bear, is going to bring the biggest profit? Yeah. He went straight to me out and he said to me, I'm going to get you some profit. So, <laughs> yeah, I do believe in him. <laughs> I love your faith. <laughs> Jeff, do you agree? Is it all about the beer? No, it's not. It's about the pepper, Edwardian silver pepper shaker. Uh, I fell in love with that myself because it has the blue interior as well and it just looks the part. Profit-wise, is it going to make some money? I think that's an equal par with a bear, but I'm going to stick my neck out and say the pepper shaker. OK, cool. So tell me, you all got along swimmingly, but you didn't spend a lot of money. Remind me again the grand total? £80. <laughs> so someone's got £220 burning a hole in their pocket. Diane, of course there it's you. Are, You're yeah. in charge of money today. Yes. But now Tim is taking it, and are you going to go wild in the aisles? I might. I mean, I think this is going to be the easiest bonus buy of all time, because whatever I buy, Diane's going to love it. I love everything. <laughs> I already know that. And what did I say? I had your back. Exactly. So, exactly. So. Well, I'm going to have your back, because I'm going to buy oh, something brilliant. with a cat on just for you. Oh, wow. Fine. Well, Tim, so in Sheffield, I'm going to learn about a football star who became a war hero. 2018 was, you left him a serious amount of money, £220. We did, yeah. We did. Are you ready, Diane? Yeah, go on then. <gasps> oh, I love it. Good. I love it. Well, I said you would. Oh, you didn't let me down. Small but perfectly formed. You like? Beswick. Beswick. Yeah. Beswick. Or Beswick. It's one of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Great name. There's no chips, cracks or anything on it, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, 
Great little item, but ultimately, what did you invest? Money-wise, I think you're going to be quite pleased because I only spent twenty pounds. That's good. Excellent. So it shows that we may get a bit of a profit. Exactly. There's lots of people out there that like animals. You think there's a profit there? I think we're going to need someone like yourself who just fancies it on the day and can make us a little oh, bit of profit. Oh, I love it. Let's hope the cat gets the cream. Oh. <laughs> How can I better that? How can I top I that? <laughs> well, That's lovely, though. I'm pleased that you like it, and I'm sure that Tim is delighted that you like it, but you don't make your mind up just yet. So, right. for now, let's find out if our auctioneer thinks it is a clockwork bear holding that little baby's bottle. It's so yeah. cute. You paid £34 for it. Yeah. We're hoping for a profit. Here it comes. Lot number 178, mid 20th century clockwork bear with baby's bottle. £30 for him. Kick us off at 30, somebody. 12 is your start price. Ooh. 15, 18, 20, 22, 25, 25. It's for beautiful, a bit more. The... <laughs> and it's the lady on the front row who holds it. Anybody else at 28? One last look down here with the lady at 25. Twenty-five. Right, the first item has lost nine pounds, and you paid seventeen pounds for this fly. So come on, we need a profit. Yeah. Come on. Lot number one seven nine. Novelty brass desk Vesta as a fly. You've got competition on this one. Twenty pound is your opening bid. Ooh. Twenty-two for him. Okay. Yes. Twenty-two, twenty-five, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-five. Need forty pound to move on. Yeah. Wrong. I'll take forty. It's gonna go. Gentleman standing at thirty-five. Yes. Where did that come from? 35. You've just made a profit of 18 pounds on that item, so now you're in the black. Plus nine. Here comes your silver pepperette, your favourite, Jeff. Lot 180, Hallmark silver pepperette with pull off cover and blue glass body. 20 pounds for eight, 20 bit, 22. Oh, 22, 25, 28, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50. Anybody else for 55? Wow. Keep going, 50. keep going. With a lady at 50 pounds, all the now we at 50. Fantastic. 50 pounds, and you only paid 29, so 21 pound profit overall, a 30 pound profit. Brilliant. But it's not all over. It's make your mind up time, folks. What do you reckon? <laughs> Feline flamenco to risk your How profit? How much are we in profit? 30 pounds. Yeah, we're going to go with it. So, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Here Let's comes. Lot number 186, basic pottery figure, Feline flamenco. 10 is your opening bid. 12, please. No. 12 bid on the internet. 15. So handsome, come on. <laughs> 12 only bid so far. 15 with the lady standing, 18 please. Come on, internet. 15 only bid with the lady, it's got to be 18 surely. Anybody else yeah, want please. it? Come on. A dent drop hammer. It's going to sell at 15 only. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. 15 pounds is a loss of five. But, Perfect. hurrah! We still need profit. Yeah, £25 overall. You've seen this programme. You know that's a good result. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you've also seen that you've got to say nothing to the Blues, OK? Yeah. You all probably have an idea of how it went, but I want to keep you in suspense just a wee bit longer. Each team took three items to the auctioneer, one loss and two profits. Great. Then each team decided to put their faith in their expert. Yeah. <laughs> well, for each team, that was your first mistake because <laughs> each expert saw a loss. Well, let me tell you, one team, just one, made a profit. Which means that our runners up today are the Blues with a loss of £49. But our winners are the yes, Reds yes. with a profit of 25 Well done. <laughs> yes, it was a kind of a strange one for you two, wasn't it? You were up, then you were down, then you were up, and then you were down. But we do not want to dwell on that because it was a really nice experience, wasn't it? It was fantastic. Yeah, really good fun. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. But today the Reds made some money and on bargain hunt that's no mean feat. £25. Let me hand it over to you. I mean, you can cancel the cruise, but any idea what you'll do with the money? <laughs> well, we've got grandchildren, so I think it might get spent on them. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Well done for making a profit and well done for smiling all the way through a bit of a disaster. But it's been great all round. And if you think, I want to take part, well, what's stopping you? Go on our website, follow us on Twitter, and of course, keep tuning in. Join us again for some more bargain hunting. Yes? Yes! yes.